That was tight on, on MTV. But there was no murder in it. That was the thing. I thought in the end somebody died. It's just people throwing a ball around. Yeah, that's kind of like the tuna subway stuff. If you're going to say tuna, I need tuna. If you're going to say murder ball, I need some murdering. Yeah, dude. Like, don't, don't tell me murder and give me mackerel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> gang, gang. Boom, boom. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. You're the greatest show on earth. <laughs> no. No. Uh-uh. No. Stop, I'm going to stop you right there. Can't help. <laughs> Schedule's booked. Guys, I'm doing on dates. Leave me alone, okay? I date. Okay? You're, ser- uh, you're a serial dater, man. Not all of us have kidnapped a fucking semi-underage woman like Chin has. You're talking about it's my girl now. Yeah. She works at the library. Sure she does, uh-huh. dude. Chen's girl has after school care program written all over her, dog. <laughs> that chick is nine, bro. She has the body of a nine year old. She loves it. You're talking you about bet. she curvy. Yeah. You're talking about my girlfriend? She's <laughs> yeah. curvy. That's scoliosis, dude, okay? <laughs> yeah. And they do a check every six months at the at the academy. She's got curves in the front. <laughs> the what? mouth the mouth. Oh, that's a stomach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of those is, bro. One of those is pregnancy, dog. Okay. Oh crap! No, she uh, she has that thingy, the what? IED or something. The IED, oh, the, dude. dude. No, IED has killed thousands of soldiers <laughs> abroad. Yo, how dare you? Talk- R.I.P. Dog. Yeah, I- dog. That's something? Afghanistan slang, dog. Dude, R.I.P. Bro, you she has, a she has I- an IED inside of her, dude. No, <laughs> is she working for Nation of Islam? <laughs> no, no. I, what is but that? The, thing but called? those things are 100% chin. Huh? Though, I mean, but they're the swimmers very, very can good. still. Get past the goalie there and score some goals. Not chin swimmers, dude. Those <laughs> things are fucking bumper to bumper on the way That's in, true. dude. You ever seen a lot of chins in traffic? Yeah, they probably get <laughs> stopped at the gate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look at the accuracy because I never really looked at it. And I just, I kind of just go do whatever. Ugh. Oh. You're disgusting, I'm dude. Serious. You're the Chinese Derek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chin let that wasabi loose. <laughs> <laughs> they are spicy. That whoa sabi dog. Damn, that dude. kimchi hitter over there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Jim man. busting that skim milk out there, bro. <laughs> that Vietnamese freaking uh. coconut milk, dog. You better tighten up, Chin. God wants you. <laughs> yeah. God wants you, Chin. I know. I'm a good person. Do you go to church, Chin? No, he no. doesn't, dude. Do you sorry, you, Chin. It's you okay. Answer. But you yeah. know, hold on, you answer. No. I don't. See? Yeah, yeah, you know you don't. Told you, bro. Nick definitely doesn't, but he's been when he was with his grandma growing up. Dude, if that's you have a right. grandma that you live with and you're growing up, that's just like going to church. Yeah, that's fair. But she'd make you go uh, every Sunday? It, not every. Sometimes she just don't want to deal with the fight. Uh, I, oh, I, you still fight her? I, I mean, just like. Where, in the yard or inside? <laughs> do, do you go body only or do you go hit her in the knees? <laughs> oh. She's got a rock hard core, so you don't want to go body with my grandma. You yeah. just tire yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah. but yeah. Uh, Was it three or five rounds? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but n- now, today, when I go back home, I volunteer. I'm like, you don't want to go to church? I ask her first. And, and she always wants me, to go? Yeah, yeah, it makes it feel nice. Look at, dude, Nick hits 30,000 IG followers and he gets a bang energy. <laughs> 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 Unreal. Cat started an OnlyFans and has an assistant now. <laughs> Does she really? Yeah. Unbelievable. She's killing it on the thing. Really? Shoot. Killing it. Killing it. I know. It. Yeah. I'll tell you off air how much, but it is. I know it's a lot, man. We have a single mom on TPW that we were part of the single mom thing that we help out sometimes, and she got an OnlyFans. We can't even get in touch with her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes, man. We can't even help her anymore. She's like, I'm good. You fucking Yeah, she's skates. like, please leave me alone, man. I've used your platform enough. Yeah, Kat, Kat got that new money, got new bangs and shit. Damn. She just she has new bangs. Yeah, she has yeah. bangs. I wonder new if she posted on her Instagram or not. She oh, did. New okay. money bangs. That's how it goes, man. That's the thing. Money you buy a girl people. a waffle, bro, and next thing you know, you're not invited to lunch, dog. That's the old saying. <laughs> you ain't lying, bro. That's the old Chinese saying, isn't it, Chen? <laughs> I'm joking. I know you're Korean. <laughs> I know. That was a joke. Dicey. <laughs> oh, dicey, dog. Checkmate, dog. Jack Bobby Lee. Lee, you fucking hear me, Bobby Lee, you sleepy fuck. All right, wake up, dog. I'm that fucking alarm clock, son. Yeah, come get some. You want it, you little gristle animal? Come get it, dog. <laughs> come freaking get it, dude. This cat with them new bangs. 
Dude, I'll, I'll jump off the bottom rope and fucking still take you out, you bastard. <laughs> Bobby Lee? Yeah. You gonna hit that redhead on the way down? Dude, I fucking, oh, oh yeah. I'll catch that dude with Get my... Get a little cinnamon on your elbow? I'll catch that dude with my, yeah, one of my hoofs. <laughs> yeah. I'll catch that chatty Hollywood elite with one of my hoofs, dude. <laughs> yeah, he is Hollywood oh, now. Oh, dog. Hey, Tom, I'm sorry I can't do the show. I'm, I'm on set. Yeah. I'm on set. You're on somebody else's set, dog. Set of nuts, huh? Yeah, dude. Set of my dick of nuts. <laughs> dog, you've been dating. Dude, I went on a date. So what, dude? It wasn't, it was, uh, look, it wasn't that great. And I had to freaking pay for everything. <laughs> That's how it goes, bro. <laughs> and listen to this move, okay? So. you Are you sure this one was a woman this time? Oh, yeah. I mean, I have no idea from, I, there was no like physical proof, but I believe if I had to take a, if I had to. Lie detector test? Yeah, if I had to take a lie detector test, everything inside of me would say, hey, this is a woman. All right. I believe you. I don't know if the audience does, but I do. I don't think you believe me. I think they do. Mm, I think we're all skeptical. All right. We're in this together. Um. So you've been serial dating? No, I haven't been serial dating. I just went on no. a date. But, sh oh, here's the thing. So they got the leftovers from the thing. She didn't want to take them right there. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Who's this fancy B? You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> the one where the leftovers, though. If it's oh, like sushi or something, I'm with her. She's too good to have something to eat tomorrow? Bro, get the <laughs> F out of here, She's got the dates lined up. Like, nah, I'll get another meal, sucker. That's fine, but who got that breakfast date? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you're right. If you can, I think if you if you meditate first, you can psychologically convince yourself <laughs> to have chicken parm for breakfast. Yeah, you know? she's not thinking ahead. Oh. And it must be nice to not have to, you know? But she, anyway, yeah, she took my freaking uh, leftover also. What, 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 what did you order? Salmon. Something. For the dog, she said. Oh, for the dog? Yeah. Like, what kind of a friggin' dog? <laughs> Eat fucking fish, Sound. baby, water oh, cattle. Oh, she fancy. That's what I'm saying, Them dog. Instagram thoughts getting ratchet, dog. So that's what I'm thinking of right now, she probably dude. probably has an OnlyFans. She don't need you. You got a little freaking Scottish Terrier out there polishing just... Eating your salmon, dog. Polishing off a freaking uh, little bit of fucking wood seared salmon right now, dude. <laughs> and Nick's smoke. out here with his bang energy. Jesus, man. Everyone's changing. Everybody's right changing. Here. And Look chin. Your chin. What? With all your fucking money. <laughs> yeah, what? All your fucking money and keep throwing your girlfriend in our face all the goddamn what? time. Yeah, trying to get reconstructive surgery so you can look Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Korean much. come up, dude. Trying to get shorter. Yeah, dude. Definitely not. I know that Korean come up, dude. That's that Asian come up, bro. It's like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm here. Then I'll do this. Then I'll get my eyes wide. And then I'll do this, bro. Then I'll join a band. Get my ears shaved down. I'll join a K-pop. Then I bail Blind out. my hair. Then I'm Polynesian. Now I live. Oh, I'm from Hawaii. That's oh. how it ends. <laughs> now Moana's my favorite movie. Yeah, yeah bro. I do want to get a tanned. <laughs> I've seen it too many times, Joe Coy. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be I'm in not... here next week. Huh? He'll be in here next week. Oh, yeah. oh good. Yeah, that's our boy. <laughs> we'll ask him right then if you seem different, Chin. I shaved my head like him. So huh? that's like Joe Coy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of getting yeah, close. Yeah, you fake Robert Whitaker in here, dog. <laughs> yeah, dog, you ain't fooling nobody. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. You seem great, man. Thank How are you, you doing? I appreciate it. I'm doing good. We missed you last week, man. I know. It was a tough one. Couldn't, can't do uh, the two shows and then be here as well. Yeah. I don't know how. I mean, Brendan does it. <laughs> yeah, it must be impossible for you to just hitch a ride with him. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it is, must be tough. Chin's just standing there like, man, wish I could do it today. I know. Impossible. <laughs> we needed your thoughts on kimchi. I know. We were stuck. Oh, yeah. 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 They told me they were going to talk about kimchi. It's terrible, huh? No, dude, if you eat it with meat, it's yeah, like the best you. combination. Yeah, we knew you'd go hard in the paint on it. Seriously. Is it So is kimchi on every table in uh, your culture? Cream is, it, is it like on any time you eat dinner or anything with a family? Is it always it's there? It's like your salt yes. and pepper. Yeah. If, uh, birthdays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever, if there's always kimchi on the table. Ew. And do different people make it taste? Is it taste different? There's different ones. There's sour and there's fresh type. Ew. So the sour ones you age for a long time. It's under pickled? The ground too. Is it pickled it's cabbage? Fermented. Oh, yeah. And is it spicy, Chin? It's not that spicy. So it looks like it's super spicy because yeah. it's ready, red and orangey, but it's yeah. not that spicy. Pickled cabbage is my stepmom's nickname. Ooh, that was my wrestling name. Was it really? Yeah, the old pickle. I thought it was Big Barn or whatever. <laughs> the Big Barn? Yeah. The fridge? Yeah. This dude's hiding goats in his back door. That's why they call him the Big Barn. 
Bro, remember when? Uh, oh, did you did you uh, spend that cash you gave me on the, that little Instagram thought? No. Save that money, dog. Put it in your butt. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's still up there. You know it's up there. Now look. Oh, I'll, I'll pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> I got eight. Look, I still have eight hundred in there. Okay. Damn, you got the salmon? All right. <laughs> I'm going to need another hundo. Damn, girl, you getting salmon? Hey, waiter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she wants dessert. Waiter. <laughs> Listen, dude, why would you sleep on I'm any? Listening. All right, don't sleep on any regular old mattress. I can't sleep if you're being loud. You need sleep, dude. We don't yell. But you got to do it with Helix Sleep because they have a mattress that's built just for your thick ass, bro. Who is Helix? Is it a Middle Easterner? No, it's not the cat either. I'm talking about Helix Sleep beds. Helix Sleep, you take a quick little quiz, takes two minutes, then they match you. With the perfect mattress just for your weird square body, Theo. They oh, got you covered, yeah. man. But dude, can they do my body type? I got a body type like that. Uh, you know, I'm built like that. Um, built like uh, a thick ass Miley Cyrus. No, I'm built more like a guy that um, <laughs> like a crash test dummy that's been uh, you know, on vacation for a while. Yeah, but you got that big ass. Yeah, right? yeah, that crash, crash test dummy with a big ass. Oh, I got the J in the tray, baby. Oh yeah, crash into me. Helix Sleep was awarded the number one best overall you, mattress. Bro. You All right, by GQ and thing. Wired Magazine. Uh, I got my crib. I can't get rid of my mother-in-law, father-in-law. Just go to helixsleep.com slash K-A-T-S. Take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they will match you with the perfect mattress. Save $200 off all mattress orders, and you get a free pillow if you go to helixsleep.com slash K-A-T-S. That's helixsleep.com slash K-A-T-S for up to $200 off. Crash into me. Satellite in my eyes Like Damn. a diamond in the sky Oh yeah, dog <laughs> Look, Seldenfil and Tadatafil are, I'll be honest, two urban kids that went to my high school Yeah, but. Chappelle's cousins Yeah, yeah <laughs> No, they're the drugs that get your dick better Yeah Dick better Dick better, my friend Right down by the dick bus, Boy Bus, 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 bus. <laughs> Bluechew.com, baby. If you like sex, you'll love Bluechew.com. Oh, daddy. Turbo charge your dick game. The chewables from Blue Chew can take, you can take full stomach, empty stomach. It don't matter. Yep. An online physician consult is free, so it's cheaper than those uh, Viagra Cialis. It only takes a few minutes to connect with Bluechew.com. All right? And we'll get you covered, man. Yep, no yep, more doctor get... visits. No more awkward conversations mm -hmm. about your dick game with this, some doctor you don't know. Mm -hmm. Blue Chew is made in the U.S. of A. All right? You guys will love it. And uh, here's the deal, man. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first order free when you use the promo code KATS. Just pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E Chew.com. Promo code CATS. If you don't know how to spell blue, probably shouldn't be having sex. Um, who was that, Nick, that you pulled up on the screen? Uh, this is the return of Flaunt My Aunt. Ooh. Return of thighs. What's up, girl? These oh. are uh, two that were sent in, uh, Get sisters. Your metal detector, because they got jewelry on the beach. What's no. up, daddy? That bass. Stop. Oh. <laughs> on the right, we've got uh, Aunt Paula, 67 years old. She doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't cuss. But she likes to go dancing in Myrtle Beach and staying out late wherever the party's at. Yeah, she looks like she twerks. Body yada 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 yada. And to that point, her favorite song and ringtone is "Don't You" by the Pussycat Dolls. Uh, and I how, that it. goes, "Don't you wish you had a man like me? A don't, don't you? <laughs> a don't you? A don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a like, like me? A don't you?" I don't you. I don't you. Now, now, here's my problem with this uh, thick ass aunt on the right. Is she wearing uh, socks and sandals? Because that's frowned upon in America. But they got a lot of seniors have tender feet, man. You can't put tender feet in that hot sand, especially in Myrtle Beach. Are you talking bro. about them tenderloin feet? Bro, this is where they film Glory, dude, in Myrtle Beach, bro. Some of those scenes. I mean, they have cannons under the sand. You got MTV Spring Break there every now and then. Indentured servants. A lot of like anything could pop out of that sand. Yeah, Polly Shore's DNA probably all over that beach. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, 
you could trip on a hot femur out there, dude. They got everything <laughs> in that sand. Bro, you know how many battles were fought on that sand? Yeah. You don't want to, you know, your grandma freaking slips on a cannonball, you know? <laughs> a cannonball. <laughs> I'm just grandma saying. Grandma slips on a fucking musket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, you know how many hot fucking musket chunks are out there? Oh, granny, granny get fucking. And are these two different people? Yeah, they are two different. Bro, I'll tell you out of the gate, even by looking at him, even if I was blind, I could tell you these are three different people, okay? <laughs> Both you guys. I can't Take tell. Take a sip of bang, white boy, okay? <laughs> these are three different people on the Well, screen. no, I know the old the old weathered uh, sun face dude on the left, but I thought maybe those were two of the same women. I was having trouble deciphering them as well, but the, the person on the left, that is the other aunt. On Amy, who's 65, she okay. smokes Salem ultralights Ooh, and classy. En- enjoys the occasional stout. She's lived at the beach since she was 18. Hell she's, yeah. She's the wife of an East Coast surfing legend and mother of a national longboard champion, oh, yet damn. she is nervous in the ocean. She plays the ukulele, guitar, banjo, <laughs> and harmonica okay. and doesn't know who the pussycat dolls are. Ooh, wow. don't you? But sisters. Oh, they're sister. Oh, that makes sense. They, that's why they're together. And now I can see the comp- the competitiveness between them too. Yeah, me too. You know, I'll take the one on the right via decision. One's like <laughs> I'm on a longboard. One's like I'm on a short bus. You know. <laughs> what do you? Uh, who do you pull here, Chan? You're out on the beach. You know, you see these freaking uh, wave riders rolling around. The one in the red for sure. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. why is that, brother? She's got curves in the front. Yeah, I like. And, that. and probably in the back, Chan. Yeah. She what might not, Brendan. Ah, uh, you're not that thick and, not, and have a flat ass. You don't, do. you don't say that kind of stuff dude, about women. You gotta date women more, bro. You gotta be on the streets with these men. I went on a date. I don't like men anymore. <laughs> on a date with women. A woman. Woman, woman, woman. <laughs> bro, it sounds like you're fucking doing that so much. You're trying to freaking do it to yourself, boy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's Amy and Paula. Who do you go for? You think Nick, Amy, or Paula? Uh, it's your Uber days. You pick up both of them. <laughs> I think I'm uh, with Chin on this one. The one that mm-hmm. doesn't smoke, her looks will last longer. Uh, with that red, she's like a, she's like an aged Pamela Anderson. Baywatch. Ooh, okay, okay. I think our Baywatches were different. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, man. She got that more Pamela Anderson body. She definitely – and look, she cares about her feet. Like the other one, dude, a lot of times you get one of those sunned-up dimes, man, and they all sunned out. Yeah, you they know? get them raisin brand feet. <laughs> oh, and they got – they fill their ears with a uh, sunscreen. Yep. Oh, man. Yep. And then you they get – They got a white face. Oh, their sun is their, – their face is bleached out. Uh, it's from the sun, the wrinkles. Yeah. Old leather face. Yeah, what we yeah. call it on the streets. Oh, sometimes you'll see you'll put the, you'll fold part of their face up and put a little money in it. You think mm-hmm. it's a wallet. And it's in the hot purse. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you got, hey, pull that 30 out of your neck. Let me see your lip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me get that bottom lip. Um, is, is this, is well, hold this on. Another... Let me pick one, too. I'm picking. Oh, you're going with the thick one. You ain't ready for that healthy one on the left. Surfing. Yeah, and the one on the left has a man, and she already brought him and in. And she also spawned a world champion. Yeah. Long border. Yeah, you don't bring uh you don't bring a man to the beach, dude. So <laughs> I'm gonna go with the one on the right. Same. Aunt Paula, is that Paula? Uh yes. That's Paula. Sixty seven. Okay. On the right. Don't hurt him. Who bro. you going? Right all day. Really? I told you via decision, third round. I think she'd beat that on his ass. I like that. Technical cock out, bro. <laughs> but but Amy's beautiful too. It's only because they're both so beautiful that we had to pick one. Yeah. Oh yeah, look and look, obviously, but here's the thing about Amy is she's, you know, kind of She's taking the road less traveled. She's been in the sun so much. She's already got a man, you know. He's a badass. Yeah. She probably reads a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, she probably reads Jonathan Livingston Seagull. It's a book. Yeah. <laughs> Try a little Moby Dick. Yeah, she's probably read all, everything. And she has a son, you know. So if that guy dies, she has somebody to take care of her. But this other lady has sand, has socks and sandals in the hot sand. She needs. And she's obviously searching for something out there. Yeah. She needs somebody. Word. Uh, we're moving on to a new one. Uh, this she this young lady is going to introduce her, and then we'll bring up the picture. Hey, Brennan. Hey, Theo. It's been a while since I've seen a flaunt your aunt, and I think I got a good one for you. Yeah, that's fair. This is my Aunt Bonnie. She's coming to you all the way from Wisconsin. She's living her best life on one of her favorite birthdays, and she is single and ready to mingle. The girl is your typical Polak from a small town who loves Bacardi Limon more than anyone I know. Ooh. Cheers, guys. She she looked like her application got denied at Joe Exotic Zoo. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. Oh, she's, I would put uncaged, 
But she can she get a tattoo on her back that says uncaged, man. <laughs> Look, she's a beautiful woman. She reminds me of Grant Cotter, who's a comedian, but in a, like about 40 years maybe or 30 years. Bonnie is her name, beautiful. And I love those rolled up. Oh, uh, Betty, oh, Betty. Them rolled up Levi baggy shorts. Those rolled up pant legs. Let's get a picture of Grant Cotter if he does without a hat on. Oh, really? I think she looks more like Tim Dillon's mom, maybe. You I think. see it. Yeah, I see Tim Dillon. Oh, I can see a little bit of that. Yep. And you can see Grant knows. also has his ears pierced. That's why I'm saying that, because Grant has his ears pierced. He's handsome. That's the same. <laughs> That's the same person. <laughs> there we go, man. My boy GC right there. <laughs> An amazing comedian out of the South Bay right there. Um, But, yeah, she got this shirt on. What does the shirt say, Nick? If it ain't gonna look itself. <laughs> oh, look, I, I, hopefully, don't you? <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully that arrow's pointing at some stamps in her pocket. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. she's got. Oh, it's pointing to a tootsie roll because that's disgusting. If not, Doug. hopefully she's got mail to send because she's sending this mail the other way. Bro, I'm telling you that. Oh. But I know somebody that would get out there. Chin would get no, in there. Oh man, bro, you guys eat some wild stuff. We do eat wild stuff. We okay, don't lick on, wild bro. stuff. Yeah, licking and eating. You different. stop at ca Caucasian, Nick. I feel like if you picked her up on one of your Uber nights, it could yep. get pretty wild. You got a bang energy drink, a positive attitude. It's her birthday, <laughs> dude. She likes Bacardi Limon. First thing I ever drank when I was fourteen years there you old. Go. Of course, Who's dude. Birthday? Who's birthday? <laughs> Who's birthday? Who's birthday? Bro, that's a Wisconsin water fountain ingredient. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Uh, I love how Nick snuck in another Wisconsin reference. Unbelievable. <laughs> Wisconsin has had so much uh, so much fanfare. So since much love. making a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go with Ron Dane, but all right. Um, yeah, her, her Wisconsin accent was like, it brought me back. Heavy. Yeah. yeah but look, I think hey, this Brian. lady obviously is a beautiful lady. She has a positive attitude. It's her birthday. She has a lit shirt. It's always her birthday, dude. Yeah, it is. She also looks like uh, Hulk Hogan's son. <laughs> yeah, or her daughter, if she <laughs> fell on some hard times. She also looks like she makes a mean meatloaf, you know? She's oh, that yeah. one grandma who has just that nasty stew recipe. That loaf, boy. Ooh, daddy. Yeah. Are oh, you talking about that, that Nick Hogan? Yeah. Yeah. She definitely gives me Nick Hogan vibes, kind of. Or Hulk Hogan. You don't want Nick Hogan as your Uber driver. Oh, <laughs> true, man. true. Too much? No, it's fine. All right. <laughs> I just knew it was going to happen. <laughs> you were ready for it? Mm. Is that a pop? I don't know if people know that history, do we? Huh? Is that That's not that popular that he killed a dude? I mean, you didn't have to say it. <laughs> and you said it. <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, one more aunt. This is Aunt Allison. Woo! Woo! She is Dang. an aunt. She's only 30 years old. Hey. Does she like salmon dinners? Because my boy over here will pull a fucking 20s piece out of his ass. <laughs> She's single. Whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? <laughs> She's single and looking. And uh, the person who submitted her, Danielle, uh, put in parentheses, wink, wink, Theo. And uh, she loves the outdoors and her dog, Coral. Who doesn't love the outdoors? You have to go. You have to use the outdoors to get to different places. Oh, God damn. Don't hurt him, baby girl. Where's she from? She is from Sacramento, California. God oh. damn, Shoddy got back. She likes mixed dudes. Who's that fellow she's with in the snow? <laughs> <laughs> is that Nick Van Exel? Oh, dude. <laughs> who is that? Another guy from Wisconsin. Uh, <laughs> Can you zoom in on this guy? Who yeah, is who, that? Who's that mixed gentleman? Is that Mike she's Perry? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like Mike Perry. <laughs> and I'm just joking, Mike Perry. All love, brother. All love, Yeah, dog. I love Mike. I only say Damn. that because you're a freaking human legend, baby. <laughs> Damn, one, do but, yeah, with the beard, similar. with the beard, it does look like Mike Perry, dog. <laughs> it does look like Mike Perry. Did he have his baby yet? Uh, I, don't I don't think, think so. so. I think, yeah, I think they did. Oh, did I think they? they did? I think so. Bring up a pic, man. Let's show a pic of that beautiful He just kid, apologized though. for saying the N-word. I was just going to say, I wonder if that dog used the N-word. Yeah, oh, he oh. does. I don't do it yet. This, yeah, this picture was taken during his N-word days, man. Yeah. And look, dude. Also, don't shoot your shot with Theo and then take a picture with a, another man. Yeah. That's, a, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's come true. Come on, girl. But look, it's Mike Perry. You got, I, I got some respect out there, man. God dang. She is bodied uh, up. And look, I don't think you should have to reply. I mean, where do you learn the N-word? Probably from music. These days, here's the thing about the N-word. Most kids these days learn it from music. 100%. So Mike whose Perry's fault is it that the N-word's out there? Yeah, that's fair. But also, uh, Mike Perry did... Uh, 
that DNA uh, test, and he became oh, yeah, uh, one right. percent black. So he thought it gave him free will to say it. Look, I'm not going to tell my parry he can't say anything. Oh, oh there we go. He's cute. Daddy's drinking, buddy. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Not the shirt on oh by God. my kid, but okay. Uh, Cute that's awesome. kid, man. I bet you Mike Perry gets his shit together after that. I bet he's going to lock it up, man. Go on a win streak. That dad power ain't nothing like it. Really? Oof. Oof. God, this girl. Get her ass out of my face. <laughs> I'm in a 12-step recovery program, Nick. Actually, I did have one more, uh, and uh, he sent a video, so we'll play him. But I'll tell you first, right now, dude, I freaking got six cans of Fix a Flat in my car. Put in one more this morning. I'm on seven cans, most <clears> I've <throat> ever had in a car. Ooh. Or I might be. I, I gotta so it's look not again. fixing it. Oh, it's fixed. I mean, it's. But that's the problem. I can only go 54 miles an hour and the whole thing starts rattling. That's, <laughs> that's that Jeep? Yeah. Mm. It's great up to 53. I mean, it rides great. <laughs> just got a boy. What's up to you? I'm Brendan. This is Alex from Angleton, Texas, down south of Houston. I was just on y'all's uh, last Patreon. I'm the one that got busted with weed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I got a flunk. Damn. I'm up for you, though, man. Go check her out. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Gang, gang, Alex. And he also said about uh, his Aunt Janet, she's in her 50s but still young looking, yeah. likes to drink and take pain pills to keep her buzz. <laughs> oh, Ooh, damn. This she's is my a type of gal. She's always been a gold digger and married two men for money. Hell yeah. And mm. her husband is now in his 70s and just pa- uh, pissed her off when he retired and sold their nice ass house for a trailer living. She is not happy. Ooh, mm. so she's on the prowl. That cougar prowl, dog. That night stalker. She she also looks a little bit like a weather lady. Nine news. <laughs> I can see that, dude. Sixty nine news, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> um, that Doppler dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get this Doppler girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say this about Janet. Is her name? Uh, yes. Janet. Um. Oh man. Hold on, Brandon. Don't say anything. I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, here's a suggestion. A lot of women, if you you don't know what's going on to get a man, you can do EMT work. That way you meet a man. They're not doing well. You seem good. Bring them back to health. You get to see where they live. You pick them up from there. Here's the problem, though, Bubba. All them bitches got COVID. What? Who? All these EMTs that they're going over these houses. Everybody got COVID. That's why Who they're over there. It? Bro, you call an EMT because you're dying, dude. Who gives a fuck if you get COVID? One of your <laughs> legs is broken. You fell off the roof doing freaking uh, bootleg roof work without a uh, without a without uh, a permit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Dude, who gives a fuck? You, you've been laying she, in your yard not, for- She's not trying to get with a guy on a ventilator. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's a classy lady, bro. I know, but that's how you meet a guy to know if they're a good guy or well, not. She's trying to meet a guy, I don't know, drinks bang energy drinks. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. She does pain pills. <laughs> yeah, but that's for the pain of the people she picks up, dude. Nah, nah. It's she, transparent she's trying to pain. trying high, bro. I don't think. I think she's, <laughs> she's that sacrificial lamb. She's trying to get high That's what she's doing. <laughs> oh, and it man. sounds like a nice evening, to be honest. She's that Dalai Lama. I'm a dude, she's taking the pain for all of us, man. She's that. She's basically the freaking. She's that third husband, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we love you, God. <laughs> we love you, God. <clears throat> uh, let's move on some uh, debate clubs. We love him, though. Sub Raiden, Sub Nemo, got a king and a stinger for y'all. Do you guys like ninjas more, or do you guys like pirates more? Which one do you think is cooler? Which one do you think will win in a fight? Also, Theo, stop trying to get Brandon to go down to 240. <laughs> if you want that smoke. You gotta go up to 250 and meet him. Yeah, you right. Dog. Lamb slang, bus guts, yeah. culture vulture. Um, Dang. 250. Dude, meet me at 260 right now. Bro, meet me at fat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's, meet me at FAT. Dog. One of us is, no matter where we meet at, both of us are gonna be fat when we get yeah, there, we I have a feeling. Unless we meet at 200. Yeah. Uh, pirates or ninjas? Pirates are tough. I feel like they lost their uh, luster a little bit with Johnny Depp and all that makeup and shit and the do rags. You know, that's just a hipster from Portland with a boat. Yeah, that's and a then, good call. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then now pirates are really Ethiopians. They kind of own the pirate game. Yeah, it's my ship now. Them thigh ops, baby. They call them. I'm the um, captain now. <laughs> Look, <laughs> great block. Do. Yeah, Somalia pirates. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'll Ethiopians take Ethiopians run. My bad. They make good coffee. <laughs> they do. Yeah, them thigh ops. Look, man, this Gray Block Pizza. Shout out Gray Block Pizza also, and thank you for uh, the support with that onward hoodie dog. Are and they still open, Gray Block? They yeah. shut down. Uh, I think they're still doing deliveries. 
But I don't think they have any outdoor seating, but I, I'm not sure. Um, but also, what was the guy saying? Pirates, ninjas or pirates? Pirates or ninjas. Which is cooler. Well, there's a thing that happens when Hollywood gets onto something that they burn it out. Yeah. They burn it out, dude. And they rode them pirates into the fucking treasure chest. I'm yeah. out. So they burn, you know, every now and then it happens and they just burn it out. Make you know? a real pirate movie. Make it all scary and, you know, real. Johnny Depp throwing jokes, has eyeliner on and shit. Basically Chris Angel of Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. It would be good if they did like a horror pirate <clears throat> That's movie. That's what I'm saying. I like just black beard. Get real, real scary. Dude, when I was on semester at sea, we went on like a floating college, you know, like school on a on a cruise ship. Yeah, I guess we'll call it school. They had they had like a couple of oceans we were traveling through where they would say on the loudspeaker at night, uh, you know, these are the how we have to take precautions. There's pirates in these areas. Oh, and by pirates they mean poor Africans. Yeah. They're gonna jump aboard and beat the shit out of you. But how they would do it, they throw a ladder up, then they climb up at night, yeah. sneak on. Well, I'd love to see you just get fucked <laughs> up by some slender Ethiopians. Dude, I look, you're talking uh, if it's like an Israel Adesanya, yes, I wouldn't have a chance, dude. <laughs> if it's fucking some dude named Maki Maki, okay? <laughs> I'll I'm, ta I'm talking about the Tom Hanks Somalians. Just getting their hands on you, really roughing you up. Dude, for five rounds. He would need both feet and two hands to fucking even try to choke me, okay? Or him and the homies. I'll slam that dude in a door. Yeah, you will. Okay? I'll fucking tie a... Uh, I'll tie some straw to that guy's head and fucking sweep the floor. <laughs> and you'll keep your money because being your butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll never find this. <laughs> Let's move on. So ninjas are pirates where you land on. Your pirates are too much. Jump the shark. But also ninjas, ninjas. are freaking played yeah, out. Yeah, when have ninjas been cool since the early 80s? Yeah. Turtle and ninjas. Ninja turtles are my fucking shit. Can you name all the turtles? Go. It's easy, man. Go. Donatello, Raphael, yep. Michelangelo, yep. and... Um... Leonardo. Ooh. That's, that took you too long. I almost man. said Da Vinci. <laughs> I got a question for y'all. What's harder to eat while driving? Oh, great question. A taco or some ramen? Oh, ramen. God. <laughs> what the, ramen? Unless you're in a Tesla. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and if y'all want someone for a culture corner, you know, apparently a bunch of white people watching this. Throw my name in there. I'm a white guy. <laughs> I did 23 and me. It came back 0.1% unassigned. <laughs> you, I don't know if you want to talk about it. <laughs> gang, gang, buzz. <laughs> you guys great. Dude, that Don guy is Ramen? hilarious. Evan or Yvonne? Evan. Yvonne. <laughs> That was me. That was my Brendan impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also, ramen. I gotta know what kind of whip he's in too, man. Who gives a fuck, dude? <laughs> dude, dude the dude. guy's eating fucking hot soup while he's driving, and he's not Asian. This yeah. is illegal. And he's not even looking at the road. Yeah, he's, he's talking doing to a us. video. He's talking to us eating ramen. What a power bro, move, bro. This is the kind of guy that killed those twenty-three school kids in freaking Kentucky, dude. Chin, will you fucking tell us? Give this guy the what for? This is your this is your field. Wait, is he eating with a spoon or a fork? It looked like he was eating with his hands for a second. Oh, that's, that's a spoon, spoon? bro. It's might be a spork. Spork. off it's his fork. Fingers there. Is it a spork? Yeah. That's if he had a if he had chopsticks, it'd be easier. I'm being I'm being serious too. No. What? Yes. Yeah. If you're Asian, you yeah. you have bro, more control. A white American. You have bro, more control. This isn't Fear Factor, dog. <laughs> no. What are y'all doing? Yeah, this isn't the challenge on MTV. A sport yeah, would have to enjoy his goddamn lunch. Yeah. No. If you knew how to use chopsticks, that'd be easier. Way you easier. Your goddamn mind. Soup with chopsticks? Yeah. No. Bro, on your guy, lap. On your lap. Chopsticks. It'll be easy. That's it what you hollowed out. Huh? That's what you do? I've done ramen in my car before. <laughs> yeah, you're Korean. <laughs> on the way to work. <laughs> yeah, but you're Love, Korean. You dude, guys can do that. Yeah, level of difficulty with this man. A white dude eating ramen on the highway? This dude's going 60, looking at us in his fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what if they he died doing a king or sting it submission? We'll, th we'll throw that bowl on the wall. Hey. Add it to the Hall of Fame. All right, Pete. We'll dip fam. that bitch in bronze. Add it to the wall. Amen. Along with uh, Taylor's nuts. 
So we're all firmly <laughs> tacos on this one. Easier to I eat. I mean, it's definitely easier for <laughs> sure. Dude, uh, you get a fucking gordita <laughs> crunch from fucking Taco Bell. That thing's easy to eat, Dude, man. that's not a real taco. That is disgusting. Taco Bell is a place where high kids hang out at, okay? It's not a real food establishment. You never had a Mexican pizza from there? I have, but they were better when I was a kid, dude. <sighs> Preach. Dude. They got rid of it. They got rid of it. They got rid of it? Mm -hmm. How could you get rid of the Mexican pizza, dude? <sighs> There's a staple in my diet as a child. It's crazy how bad it got as I got older. Oh, disgusting. That thing Do you think the quality of it got? Because there is also a thing where they decrease the quality of it over it's the time. quality. Because when I was a kid, they were pretty fucking tasty. But do you think that's because we didn't know any better? Oh, good point. Mm. My diet was Mexican pizzas, Gushers, and fucking Capri Suns. And that's why I'm thick. Thanks, Ugh. Dad. What's this? Ugh, uh, just them getting rid of the... You don't like Gushers? You fucking Nazi? No, I mean, I get it, but I just... Just to streamline processes, I guess it takes a while. What are they telling us there? What does that say, Nick? Uh, they got rid of it to streamline processes for orders. I guess that just took too long for... Yeah, because it's the best thing. Yeah. It was two fucking hard-shell tortillas, fake meat in the middle, beans on top, cheese, sauce, little pico de gallo on top. <laughs> That's Spanish for salsa. <laughs> I mean, I, I do remember whenever you would order one, somebody who worked there, okay, um, who hadn't burned their hands on one of the fucking hot microwaves that day, <laughs> would, would fucking waddle over and have process. to make something. Yes, yeah. it would take probably 40 seconds. Like, of those things aren't time. ready to go. Yeah. That, they had to hand make yeah. them, bitches, and that's why they were the best. You get those, and you, and you get the fucking little uh, cinnamon twist. Those were good. Ooh, they stopped the cinnamon twist, too. Nuh-uh. Goddamn. Play, I, when I go in there now, I'll, 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 even if I want, I'll just ask for directions and then leave. <laughs> they do smell funky. I'm like, how do I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> the hey, is, where's your exit? <laughs> yeah. Especially now that it's only... Uh, since you can't even hang out in there. Like, I remember when they built one in our town, first of all, somebody got arrested and they shut it down because somebody did uh, number two in the meat there. Oh, that makes sense. And mm -hmm. they fought and they had to shut the place down. That meat was suspect. I would go in those Taco Bells and use the shitter. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Dude, did you see Subway <laughs> came out and was like, hey, you know our tuna's not real fish. No way. What? Yeah, and everyone's all up in arms about it. You got you fucking idiots thought that was real tuna? You did. You dumb. I thought some of it was. No way. I thought man. it was maybe a 50 50 50 split. <laughs> <laughs> what what I want to know is what is it though? What are they saying? Subway isn't waiting for a judge to settle recent accusations. What does it say, Nick? Uh, recent accusations that its tuna salad doesn't include real tuna among its ingredients. The fast food chain is already appealing to the court of public opinion with of an course. advertising blitz touting its tuna salad sandwiches and wraps as made with 100% real wild-caught tuna. Wild-caught? Come on, dog. I can't even go to my fucking uh, poppin' sushi spot in L.A. and get wild-caught salmon. Wild-caught? Subway? That sounds very mafioso, I feel like, you know? So what's it saying? It's real or not? I can't even understand that. Subway says it's real. Subway says it's real, but someone filed like a court order uh, in the Northern District of California on behalf of California residents. Uh, the suit claims the two were tricked into buying food items that wholly lacked the ingredients they reasonably thought they were tricked. purchasing. Tricked? You're the dumbass that went to Subway in order to footlong tuna. Yeah, but you ain't getting ahi ahi, dog. You're walking in. They have a green and yellow color scheme, yeah, okay? <laughs> Jared from Subway started, you fucking idiots. Theo slept with his sister. Of course it's not real tuna. I didn't sleep with the sister. There was some oral. <laughs> <laughs> little Laurel. Dude, I used to have this friend from it Boston. It ain't gonna lick itself. I had this friend from Boston, and he would be like, yeah, I just got a little Laurel. <laughs> Laurel. Oh, this dude was retarded. Uh, I'm going to say this, man. Uh, what was the king of Sting it? Subway tuna melt? Uh, king of Sting it was. Was that a king of Sting it? <laughs> I don't remember what he said. Oh, no. He's saying driving. Oh, what's hard to Oh, yeah, yeah. Hard oh, my God. Ramen. Yeah, yeah. Fucking ramen, man. A yeah. double decker goes down smooth, daddy. Yeah, ramen's Comes hard Comes out eat, smooth, man. too. You Ugh. feel me? You're disgusting. <laughs> Grow up, dude. Let's see what this guy got. But hold on. One more thing I want to say. 
Even Jimmy John said this. He said that once your business gets so big, you're just fighting off lawsuits from people about dumb shit. Yeah, and that's what you spend most of your time doing. And it's sad. Like somebody walked in there, ordered some tuna, got upset that it wasn't completely tuna. What the fuck you know what are doing. you doing? <laughs> also, get off Jimmy John's nuts. <laughs> I'm not oh on his God, nuts, dude. bro. You got a promo code? I'm teaching you something. T- <laughs> TPW, bro, 10% <laughs> off Jimmy John's subs. God, get off his nuts, dog. Got a glowing email from his team about the professionalism of the TPW staff and our whole operation. Really? Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much. Also, have a- Also, a send sandwiches, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that dude brendan is the only person who would be kidnapped somewhere he gets to write one message in a bottle and send it just sandwiches. says send sandwiches with no address <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah for real so get off his nuts what's this uh gentleman saying <laughs> member of the village people theo brendan how are you nick Oi, reporting oi, oi. live uh, from Tanami Desert in the Northern Territory, Australia. Yeah, Australia! Boys, love your work. Good to meet. Love the show. Keep it up. Look forward to it every week. Boys, got a uh, you can't look any more like debate a porn <laughs> club for you. This is Razzle Dangerously. Hugh Jackman or Russell Crowe? Ooh. Well, Russell Crowe got thick, bro. Russell Crowe. He's the same though. diet as us. He's got beautiful eyes, Russell Crowe, and he was in Cinderella Man. Oh, you're right. Good fucking poll there. Dude, first of all, I didn't even realize till just now that he was in Cinderella Man. <laughs> Second of all, he came to the comedy store a couple times and saw me do comedy. I actually have his number in my phone. Oh, text him. See if I'll FaceTime in. <laughs> yeah. And ask him if we're doing gl- Gladiator 2. See what he says. I Look at that bug. body and ask him if he's doing Gladiator 2. I already bugged him about some stuff and he didn't respond. So I'm going <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> to back off the texting. But, um, but, dude, he was the nicest guy. He came out to the comedy store a couple times. Um, dude, Hugh Jackman's so talented. The Wolverine? Yeah. Can't name another movie, though. Uh, what was the magic one? Prestige? Oh, Hard mm. Pass. It was great. Christopher Nolan? A magician, Hard Pass. Swordfish? That boy's bodied up, though. He got on that rock diet. It was funny. He became Wolverine and was on the front cover of Men's Health. And they're like, oh, how'd you get so jacked? He's like, well, The Rock called me. Basically means The Rock's on a bunch of steroids. Mm-hmm. See, Hugh Jackman did uh, Les Mis Rob. Yeah, and the Hard Path. <laughs> he also did that singing one. Uh, Les Mis Rob? No. <laughs> oh, uh... the, great, the Greatest Showman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, Zac Efron's in it. Mm. You don't realize that uh, Hugh Jackman can sing. You t- you texting uh, homeboy? No, a- sorry. Ask him for me if he's doing uh, part two Gladiator. It's been a decade or more. I don't think they're gonna get to it, Brendan. <laughs> well, you have his number. Only one way to find out. I will ask him. <laughs> what other movie has he done? I can't find his number. Um, so I, uh, I might even have, I might not even have his number. I might have literally <laughs> been bothering someone who isn't Russell Crowe. He might have gave you a fake number. But oh, I'll say he's this: he's great in American Gangster. Dude, he's done so many great projects, and now he produces yeah, a pro- lot of his own projects. movies. Don't say projects. Sorry, you're right. My don't bad, say dude. projects like you're in the business. Yeah, you're right, dude. He's done, he's done a lot of great films that I've watched. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful Mind, great film. I mean, God, when you think, bro, he's underrated, isn't he, in a weird way? Yeah, he's a fucking like he's Like, he's definitely, like, but he doesn't get thrown in that category a lot of times. Bro, Cinderella Man alone was amazing. Damn, he's done a lot of films. Yeah. Oh, we did the one on the water, too. Remember where they're looking for something? (laughs) Which one? Master and Commander. Mailman, Master and Commander. Master and Commander. Pirates. I didn't, I didn't see it. But I will, Russell. Oh, dude. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Van, Van Helsing? The, dude. It, the Vampire Killer? Bro, it's really a great... This is a great comparison, man. That's really, really tough. The Aussies can act. Bro, and God bless... But this Australia versus Scotland, man. It's two freaking underdog continents, Oh, bro. is he from Scotland? Yes, brother. Will you look it up, Nate? Mm-hmm. I don't... Is he? 
No, no, you're thinking of uh, dude who did 300. Nah, I'm he's not. from Scotland. Who's that? Gerard uh, Butler. Gerard Butler. Oh, I'm friends with Gerard Butler. <laughs> my bad, dog. I was literally gonna say, are you talking about Gerard Butler? I <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've never met Russell Crowe. <laughs> Dude, Gerard Butler. I'm thinking of Russell Brand. I have a buddy who's real friends with Gerard Butler, and uh, they're at dinner, and you know he loves women, and he was saying well, 300 came out, and this is like currently, you know, he's out of shape. You just get older. He gets, he's not, he don't have that 300 body anymore. Mm -hmm. And he says he'll get in a room with a lady, and they'll be like, "Damn, man, what happened?" I'm like, bitch, that was 10 years ago. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't stay in 300 mode, bitch. He's like, too late. Yeah, he's like, too late. Dicks <laughs> out. Gerard Butler, that's my friend right there. Yeah, that ain't your friend. <laughs> the pride of Scotland. Dude. He's is, a good actor. Bro, he's a good actor. He was in Cinderella Man. <laughs> Dude, here's the crazy. I bet he could just tell people he was in Cinderella Man. That's a great part. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's a good first actor. of all, this looks like Razzle Dangerously, the comedian in disguise, which I could tell. Second of all, dazzle. I would love to have a wife from Australia. So if there's any Australian women who want to be a wife. Oh, you want a down under 90 day fiance, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Brennan, you think I'm marrying one of these American women with all their freaking bullshit? Okay. I can see that. You're on it today, dog. And he even got stashed up at one point. Oh, wow. That actually, that's a good yeah, pull right there. That Nick. is. You're on it today. What else you got, Nick? Brittany, don't move on because I'm having a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tell us who else you know or what? Huh? You confuse who oh, else you know? Sorry, we took a break from the thousands of people that you fucking know for me to name two people and one of them I what, didn't you even didn't know. know. Yeah, yeah. You, were, you thought you were texting Gerard yeah. Butler. Yeah, dude. My bad. <laughs> and I might not even know Gerard Butler, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let me make sure I do. <laughs> That's what I was trying to find out a minute ago. It was like, do When's I When's the last time you talked to him? Do I know Gerard Butler? Huh? Maybe just send him a text say, hey, man, checking in. 301 question mark. Oh, yes, I do know him. I'd love to see that text come. <laughs> no, I can't share it because he didn't text back. <laughs> but it's not his fault. He's a great guy. Probably busy, too. We know yeah. it's not his fault. <laughs> <laughs> we all know it's not his fault, dude. This is Andrew Schultz. <laughs> pushing the mic away. He's pushing the mic away. <laughs> she died. All right, look, guys, I'm going to tell you something straight up, man. What, man? I bet on a couple fights UFC f recently. Yeah. I won some money from you, and I also won some money from DraftKings. Oh, it's the only place to go when you want to win bank, bro. Yep, UFC 258 is coming up. You got freaking uh, basketball. You got the Lakers, Nugs coming up. And listen, listen up. At DraftKings Sportsbook, they're giving you a chance to lower the over-under. That's right. Yep. 1,000 players who bet the over-under on Sunday night's game, the over-under will drop by one point. Wow. You got UFC 258 coming up. Do it with DraftKings Sportsbook. They well, offer great odds right, and promotions. Basketball, hockey. So much more all week long. You can also bet on long-term things. You can bet on somebody to win the pennant in baseball. You can win, sure. bet on win, win somebody to win the ha uh, Hanley Pup or whatever. Sure. You can win. Everybody could win something. You can bet on that. Who's going to do the election? Who's going to do this? They got long-term options. Next year's Super Bowl. Last year's Super Bowl. You know, they got. you can do it all. You can, man. Make bank. Go to DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use the promo code KATS. When you sign up, you can figure out the over-under on Sunday night's basketball game. Nuggets, Lakers. For every 1,000 people that bet the over in Sunday night's game, the line will decrease by one point. All right? So all you got to do is go to DraftKings Sportsbook. Promo code CATS. Must be 21 or older. New Jersey, Indiana. Minneapolis, Virginia only restricting supply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler or in Indiana. 1 800 9 with it. 1 800 9 with it. Or in Virginia, call 888 532 3500. Well, let's see what this guy has to say. Yo, what up, Brennan? What up, Theo? This is AJ coming out of Illinois. I got a debate club for you guys today. If you're getting a new dog, are you going to go with the classic pure breeds, you know, your labs, your golden retrievers, your German shepherds? 
Are you gonna go with one of them mixed breeds? You know, basically anything mixed with a poodle. Those hypoallergenic hitters. Yeah. I personally got a mixed breed dog. Mine's an Australian Shepherd and a poodle mix, and he's the shit. Oh, that's nice. But I'm just curious about what you guys think. Are you gonna go with them purebred breads? Are you gonna go with them mixed breed hitters? Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Ooh, wet snow, daddy. Oh, wow. It mm -hmm. seems like they know each other a little too well at the end. No yeah. judgment. Yeah. Do no what judgment. Do, the guy's man. also from Edmonton, obviously, based on the jersey, and you can tell that it gets a little lonesome up there. You know that. I got that hitter right here today, man. Uh, the new tie-dye, which is on sale right now. And I'm also <laughs> going to say, uh, that's a good P question. Purebred's for the rich. Pure bread is for the rich. I don't think you have to adopt, man. I'm going to stick with Andy Santani on this one and say, get your dog that you want. Yeah. Also, if you adopt, I don't need to hear about it. Yeah. Every dog part. Oh, he's an adoption. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's also been sneaking out at night and fucking hitting the pipe. Yeah, I also don't <laughs> trust him either. Yeah. It's kind of like you got that friend who's a felon. Mm -hmm. I know he's recovered, done his time, but... Yeah, but he ain't babysitting. Nah, can't be at the crib alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. you invite him to the party early, so he leaves early. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, we're cutting the cake at two. Why don't you get there about <laughs> noon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're looking for a companion, not a burden. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's the thing, man. I don't need a dog with emotional issues and trauma. Yeah. I'll just call Theo if I need that. You feel me? I don't need a dog. Praise God, dude. You want an emotional support animal? It's called This Past Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you can subscribe to it whenever you want. Um, but I'm going to say this. Chen, why don't you help us out here, man? I know you guys have a lot of issues with petting your industry. <laughs> you, you have a, you, your parents have a dog, right, Chen? You know, it's just, she's not, he's not doing well. What yeah, happened? yeah, I bet he isn't. No, no. Been living in fear every time the so stove fucking gets turned <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. As soon as there's a fucking fuck, as soon as water's boiling, he freaks the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, dude. Every time his lunch has a little bit of carbon monoxide in it, he, he gets a little nervous. He's probably wor worried that he's gonna roll an ankle and then you can fucking barbecue. Him. Yeah, every oh, time man. he's like, "Oh, this frisbee's hella sharp that they're throwing." Yeah, I, I, I was oh, I'm just joking. Too. No, but that's true though. My people, unfortunately. Not, not, well, not unfortunately. all of them. No, no that's not what you got to do. There's a lot of stray dogs and but there's a, in it's Asia, a food man. source. The poor people in Korea. The, when I when I first visited, we actually me and my brother were walking through the marketplace. My parents didn't prepare us at all. You saw and some I saw, hanging. I literally see, I saw dogs cut in half, <gasps> like stacked. Right, and I, and I was telling my mom like. What what is this? She's like, don't worry, just keep going. There's HDSs, the poor, baby. There's half dog stacks. <laughs> yep. Poor people eat them. Yeah, racks yeah. on Sucks. racks on yeah. racks. So did you racks on racks on racks. <laughs> Raxies, Raxies. So did you try a full rack of Hell Dalmatian? No. I couldn't eat the whole day. The whole thing. Uh, I couldn't you eat ain't the never whole had day. dog tail. A <laughs> whole day. It's but scarring. You didn't try none, too? No, no, I would never. I love dogs. Did your family? No, they've never. Someone actually ate my dad's dog when he was a kid. Yeah. He was mm. scarred too. Yeah. His neighbors. You know, it's uh, but here's the thing. We can't look down on it, man. That's the thing. It's yeah, like they're poor. Yeah. What are you gonna do, bro? And also, half the food in America has spiders in it, dogs in it, cats yeah, in man. it. The freaking tuna isn't even real. It's like the Mexican pizza. Who knows what's what? What are we thing? doing? Yeah. So yeah, when people get judgmental about how other cultures have to eat to survive, man. Now I gets stop at bad dick. soup. Bro, get off the bottom of my dick, fam. <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> That's what I'm telling these people, man. I think you eat what you have to eat, man. You know? If you want to fucking be some fancy girl who's like some dog activist because you couldn't find a husband, then go over to Korea and protect all the dogs. Get a shield, okay? And get a sword and protect all yeah, the dogs. Yeah, Batman of the fucking dogs out there, bitch. Yeah, Tiffany, all yeah. right? Whitney. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Whitney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go do your thing. Yeah. Just because I want to eat a little horse, I'm a bad person. Yeah. Just because I want to have a little caballero. <laughs> Does that mean horse? Mexicans eat horse. Thank you. Yeah, Mexicans eat a horse. Now. That's what I'm saying. Everywhere you go, and we're the ones getting stuck with the same shitty meat, and then we get articles. It's not even really meat. Give us the pup. Give us the horse, man. Can you imagine how jacked our kids would be if we were giving them horse at lunch at school? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like Alistair Overeem. That's what he said. He got so jacked. He would eat right, horse, horse meat. meat. Yeah, he did a ton of steroids, yeah, but yeah, you're right, steroids. Nick. Oh, but yeah, if you eat was... enough horse meat, you'll get the steroids. It's in there. <laughs> yeah. True. Uh, let's move on to some Sink My Ink. Brenda, Thea, got a little Sink My Ink for you. What do you think about that jailhouse hitter, boy? That 17-year-old 
back of the party. Don't remember a tattoo. Nah, you remember that one. Though. And we got that ch 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 Yeah, boy, what? All right, I'm sorry. Uh, love you guys. Keep doing it. And uh, gang bang. Buzz Chug. My boys made some bad choices in his life. <laughs> well, start with that G Unit tattoo. I don't know, dog. G Unit was so good. Remember how good <laughs> they, they weren't were? good enough to get a chest piece. Bo, bo, get them up. Oh, remember that? No, I don't. Holla, bo, bo, bo. It's going down. <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm around. I don't know that song. Jen remembers it. You remember it, huh? Jen? Yeah. But hate it or love it. That's G, a classic. G, G, G Unit. Yeah. <laughs> Go shawty It's your birthday Dude That album like One of the greatest birthday. albums Of all time People applaud Jay Z it? It, it was Lloyd Banks 50 Cent Curtis 50 Cent Whatever his name is Gunshot Wilson Or something And then who Who was the other The dude? other guy That was crying On, on uh, a recording That Young Remember? Buck Young Buck oh, He was yeah. Stephon he was Marbury Too I think Young Buck was crying Yeah Was in the Why? background Eating Vaseline Cause he got older 50 Cent says He's gonna cut him From G Unit He started crying He started, he started groveling It was It was so bad It was terrible yeah, but that's a tough thing to hear. Yeah, he on the radio show. He's like, I'm gonna cut young. No, Buck. he he secretly recorded him on a phone conversation, oh, oh. and he he's like groveling. It was really sad, and mm -hmm. he's still he's still Let's killing. Don't watch not, that. not killing. Let's don't him. Watch so that. Oh, I'd love that. to see that. Uh, uh, I don't and, want it. And was he going like this? I want to be in G, 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 G unit. G unit. What if he made people stutter it out when they said it? What else? Twenty-one questions, dude. He had so many that fucking was the album. hits. This was that out. This is just the album, right? Yeah. This is a uh, get rich or die trying. But that's him. That's just fifty, dude. I'm patiently waiting for this, dude. That what album, up, gangsta, bro. That album. Look at the hits. P I yeah. many men high all the time. Yeah. Oh, How's that one go? Uh, <laughs> yeah, hit it, Tangeray, Alize. I don't need shit. Uh oh. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, In the club. You can find still, me in the club. It still car. bumps today. I, I yeah. truly believe it still it's bumps still today. It still slaps. Yeah. Like my style. Remember Free Yeo before he got murdered or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wangsta? Remember Wangsta? Wangsta? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wangsta, sticky, you ain't got nothing. Bro. Yeah, they're still, still not good enough to get a fucking tattoo <laughs> of them, though. What? I don't care how drunk you were. Though. Where's your G-Unit tattoo, bro? I didn't get one because <laughs> I wasn't in prison like this guy was, dude. I don't know if he was in prison, For selling man. perks, bro. Now 50's higher in Gianni. Yeah, we got freaking the twink Gianni's working That's over there. right. He's on power, right? <laughs> oh, he's repping everything. He got a BLM tattoo on his back. <laughs> he was at the SNL after party with Machine Gun Kelly this Saturday. Yeah. Gianni was? Yeah. He's, he's an Essence fan. He's performing at Essence Fest. Right <laughs> wow. He's on the cover of Ebony Magazine. Yeah. Dude, he's a backup dancer in the Whitney Houston hologram performance. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking killing it, bro. But I, I'll tell you this, man. He the show that they're on is pretty wild, man. People dig it, right? Yeah, I don't watch it. My brother loves it. Though it gets tons of advertisement. It's like a soap opera kind of. It's kind of like um, it's like a black people soap opera. Yeah, yeah. it's like nine oh. Fair to say, it's like nine oh two one oh kind of like. It's our, like Melrose Place. Like yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't watched it. Never seen it. Tim, I haven't watched it either. Tim Dillon said it's for dumb people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look, I'll go out on a limb and be like, this storyline is pretty slim. <laughs> you know, there's like flashes of guns. There's like a lot of looks across the way, like uncertainty. A lot of like secret meetups, like espionage. It's yeah, soap I'm not, opera. I'm not into it. It's soap opera, dude. It's, it's black soap opera. It's going to be on for a long time, though. It's doing really well. And there's like a bunch of spinoffs. Johnny get his own spinoff? He's, yeah, sure. he's a lead on the spinoff. It's in its second season. Oh, and, damn. And he's one of the favorite characters. He's like the token white guy, just like, He's like himself. He's but white he, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But wow. Uh, this guy got another sink, sink my And he's dating a black girl now. Yeah, standard. <laughs> Yo, what up, King and the Sting? This is Alex from Phoenix, Arizona. We got a sink my ink for you. Now it's uh, not my ink, but it is Kyle's. So shout out to Kyle in the Facebook group for posting this. It's the self portrait tattoo. <laughs> Me personally, I think it's a little homoerotic to have another man's face on your body, but. It is what it is, and it's not my body. That's it. Oh. Thanks, you guys, for all you do. I think it's the best podcast in the world. It just keeps getting better. Shout out Brendan, Theo, Chappelle, Kat, Nick, and Chin. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Gang, bro. And your neighbor is a leaf blowing a little too early in the morning for me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Or this guy, you know, he's working from home. It's 2 in the afternoon. 
some he, 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 no matter what his neighbor takes away obviously the neighbor takes care of the driveway yeah you're right and i respect that but hey now this isn't homoerotic because this dude got a tattoo of himself yeah very, and steve-o was the first one to do <clears throat> that yeah and steve-o had the largest one until he met another guy who out largest one in. Ooh. so now he's the second largest i thought that was jeff foxworthy uh, <laughs> you, man, I'm serious. That's Jeff Holy Foxworthy shit, if he dude, failed. Is that Jeff Foxworthy? That's a failed Jeff Foxworthy. I don't know. That's not Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> this guy looked like he came in last place in the Jeff Foxworthy contest. I don't think so, man. Dude, that is is that Jeff Foxworthy? <laughs> that's what I thought the whole redneck thing was for. Jeff Foxworthy, dude. <laughs> yeah, this dude likes to fuck, yeah, bro. Yeah, on the fucks. left, dude. Dude. <laughs> Definitely Zanbar and chill over there, bro. You know you're a redneck yeah. if you have a picture of yourself tattooed on you. Yeah. Definitely Blue Comedy Tour and chill, huh? <laughs> He's watching Ron White on repeat. Yeah, BlueChew.com. Hell yeah. Little BlueChew.com, little Blue Collar Comedy Tour. Oh, yeah. Have the blues. Fuck, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want to fucking go home and pack my bag, man. I'm fucking <clears throat> pissed, man. Fuck. <laughs> uh, we'll close out with a couple of King It or Sting. What's up, guys? This is Eddie from Chicago. I have King Eater Stinger for you. I saw an article earlier about Elon Musk putting chips in monkeys' brains for Neuralink. I sent the article to Nick. My question is getting a chip in your brain. King Eater Stinger. Well, I know a guy who could use one. I think I think uh, you and I could both use a little chip in the brain. I'll take that. I'll tell I, you. Who, I ain't talking about a Dorito, homeboy. I was going to say who can't handle a chip in the brain is freaking Chappelle's dark ass dog. That dude couldn't handle a chip in the brain. He'd only put a little bit of it in. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, Chip, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Who's talking Chip? Man, I'm hungry, man. Yeah, he's um, always hungry, huh? Yeah. Yep. Feed him, man. He works for, he works for he you. He has money. You get your own food, dog. You know? Get a Pringle. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, some shark. They caught some shark doing only fins. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk is brain technology company Neuralink has implanted a device in monkey's brain to what? make it play games in its own mind. Oh, this that, is that legal, but monkey. we can't eat Dalmatian. That's what I understand. <laughs> yeah, this is legal, but I can't have that fucking faux tuna at Subway. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't order a fucking Dalmatian it's bone in filet at the fucking uh at the steakhouse at Saltgrass? Dog, I can get a monkey to play video games with me, but I can't get a Mexican pizza. Yeah, there's a fucking legal chimp now who has ideas in his head. <laughs> there's a legal chimp who's getting ideas sent from a computer. But I can't get a facial reconstructive surgery on a fucking owl that I found in my neighborhood. Dog, Elon Musk can get us to Mars, but I can't get a direct flight to Nashville on JetBlue. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Come on, bro. Facts, bro. You tell me I have to lay over in fucking Salt Lake City today for no fucking reason? Yeah, it's frustrating. Come oh! on. Come what? on, Elon Musk. <laughs> I'm pissed. Sorry. <laughs> Take I forgot you guys have headphones on, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't mean that. And here's some girl. This could be my sister, too. King it or sting it. Would you date someone in a wheelchair? Yes, I would. Hell yeah. That uses a walker? She going wherever I want. <laughs> what? And Brandon, she going wherever I want. Don't be a fucking asshole. <laughs> gang, Wait, gang, what she Sorry. That was perfectly timed. I know. Play it again. Let's listen again. <laughs> Brendan, listen. <laughs> Unbelievable. King it or sting it. Would you date someone in a wheelchair or that uses a walker? And Brandon, don't be a fucking asshole. Gang gang, best best. They sound sound similar. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'm an asshole. One one joke about fucking wheelchairs. I'm an asshole. Brandon, you fucking have ripped everybody that said anything in. You call That's them. the show, man. <laughs> yeah. But these are good people, Brendan. Yeah, They're everyone. Just... We're all good people. This is the show, man. They're, you know we're not. You They're can't... trying to get life advice, man. <laughs> Dude, hell, I'm, I'm not an asshole. I'm just saying, I, I think it'd be dope to date a girl in a wheelchair, man. Oh, really? Tell you us can us go more, wherever, Brendan. man. You can oh, go yeah, wherever yeah. with her. <laughs> but you can't, not if they have brakes on it, man. And also. No, you just pick them up. Uh-uh. Uh, you could. I couldn't do that. Yeah. I remember need, my girlfriend sprained her ankle one time in South Carolina, and I couldn't even carry her to the car, and I felt so sad, man. Yeah. God, I remember that. <sighs> I had to set her down like seven times on the way to the car. <laughs> Take a break? Yeah. Had to have a water break? Oh, yeah. I felt so bad. 
<laughs> Do you keep asking if she has liquid IV? <laughs> I had to keep leaning her against the wall and shit. <laughs> Literally, it was two blocks. And she, like, rolled her ankle pretty good. We were playing hoops. She was good at hoops. Was she a big bitch, though? Huh? That's no. different, man. She you date one of them heifers. She no. rolls her ankle. You guys playing one-on-one basketball. No, she You got to carry a big ass to the car. But, yeah, I kept having to set her down. I set her down in a car, too, and it was hot. She, she got all pissed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's dope, God, it man. Was unbelievably sad. Oh, I feel sorry. I'm sorry about that too. Yeah, I'd like to know some background why she's in the wheelchair, though. We don't know if she was. She just had a wheelchair there. Mm, she was on the ground, and the chair was to the side of her. I think they should have wheelchair UFC, and I've been saying this. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. And they just r- ram into each other. <laughs> murder ball was tight on, on MTV. But there was no murder in it. That was the thing. I thought in the end somebody died. It's just people fucking throwing a ball around. Yeah, that's kind of like the tuna subway stuff. If you're going to say tuna, I need tuna. If you're going to say murder ball, I need some murdering. Yeah, dude. Don't fucking tell me murder and give me mackerel. You know what I'm <laughs> oh, and there's Chen in the background, number six, sneaking over. <laughs> And look, I wonder if that guy, if it's easier to be like that and eat ramen or eat tacos. That's what I want to know. <laughs> What's easier, man, a wheelchair, tacos or ramen? That's a great question. What's easier to wheelchair and eat? <sighs> Taco. If Look, if you're a young lady, and what is her name? Rebecca? Johanna? Did she say it? Larissa? I don't think she said her name. Oh, fuck. Havana? There's a wheelchair, wheelchair boxing on YouTube. Mm. Street beefs, mm. yeah, but the YouTube it gets a little. The the weirdest thing on YouTube is those backyard fights. That's what those are. <laughs> it's oh, always the, the, uh, in the grass? Sh- huh? yeah, Shogun versus Fat Allen. You know, <laughs> it's like crazy. It's true. It's one real guy and then one yeah, just yeah, yeah. dude. It says Hell on Wheels versus Mr. Mud. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> is Mr. Mud's not in a wheelchair and just no, beat both. the shit out of the guy in the wheelchair? They're both on. Wheelchairs. It's always like the same name as horses. They're like, oh, it's Dennis's ambiance. <laughs> Versus uh, <laughs> Tuesday come early. And you're like, who the fuck are these fighters, dude? And it's one blind guy versus one fucking black dude on steroids. Dude, we should go to one. Oh. Do a, li- do a King of the Sting. Live from one of those? Yeah. And you and me are the commentators. Damn. We just light them up before they get in the ring. <laughs> And then get out no, of there. No, no. They're going to beat the fuck out of <laughs> us. Dog. That's how we get beaten, dude. Yeah, you might be and right. you're going to have to defend us. I'll and you're to, not going to. I'll have to fight <laughs> Dada 5000. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah, it rest dude. in peace, right? No, no Kimbo. Oh, Kimbo, Kimbo, Kimbo yeah. Dada's still thriving. Yeah, he just, had, he just had kidney failure when he fought Kimbo. Yeah, he died. Damn. <laughs> His heart stopped in the middle yeah, of the night. He stopped in the middle of the fight. He died. Kimbo headbutted me, dude, in my hometown in fucking 19. <laughs> in 2002. And I'll stand by that till the I die. The only concussion he got. <laughs> uh, the guy in, or the young lady in the wheelchair, her name was Frankie, actually. Shout out to Frankie, man. Keep doing your thing, girl. Keep rolling on. Uh, we'll do one. Sting Kings, though, dude. If they had a fighting group called Sting Kings, you know, those guys fighting. King of the Sting Fight Club? We get some cash? You quit being a little bitch with that grand. They get cash and hot sauce. Poirier's hot sauce. Poirier's putting the belt on him. You and I, the commentators. Yeah, we couldn't even get Chin, these. the ref. We couldn't even get Nick and what's his I know, we're supposed to. I'll go in the parking lot right now. Damn, daddy. Nick taking him to the street. Wait, y'all's fight is supposed to be today, isn't I know, it? it's literally supposed to be today or yesterday. Oh, well, really? fuck. Something February like 2nd. That. When was it supposed February to be? 2nd. I didn't know we made a date. I missed that. But it was like the yeah. end of January. You feeling froggy, Nick? Please, <laughs> you right there. I'm saying, if you guys bring in boxing gloves, I'm Ain't down to my time and opportunity. We got some boxing gloves in Theo's fucking That's studio cold. right there. <laughs> Two pair? Dude, no. Look, those are gloves that I use privately to train, and I'm auctioning those off for the Good Fight Foundation. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> They'll be worth more money if these two got a little blood on them. <laughs> yeah, they are dry who, currently. Who's right-handed? Uh, uh, both of us. Oh, that's No right hands. That's, no our, right that's our fighting league No right hands <laughs> No right hands <laughs> It's like when Jason Ellis fought uh, Shane Carwin got yeah. knocked out That was a bad idea they, they tied one arm behind Shane's back Really? And Jason yeah. had both And Shane knocked him out No way Knocked him out cold? Bad idea Wow that's I awesome I told him to, before I was like dude don't do this He did it That's brave of him though man Damn we got Army Hammer calling in Jason Ellis is brave as hell Yeah he is And the crazy part is I grew up with a dude named Jason Ellis That was always on pills and shit Similar. Yeah. But could he skateboard? No. 
That's what people. No, don't but the best thing was, dude. We were at a party one time, just hanging out, and out of the blue, he was so high, he leaned across the table and he told like this hot girl that he wanted to go down on her in front of everybody. And what she and said, she's like, "Fuck." Dude. <laughs> yeah, it was so strange, bro. Chain's so big. Is he? Oh my god! He fought UFC that guy? heavyweight world champion, bro. He knocked out Frank Mir with an uppercut against the cage, and then he beat the shit out of Brock Lesnar, but gassed oh out. Oh my gosh! Wow. And that's it, huh? Dude, me, the war Shane and I used to have were not. Look at his safe. wife telling him, get up. You get up. Get up, baby. <laughs> he goes, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a bad idea. This is like Connor after the Dustin fight. <laughs> is this Connor in a couple years? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> I'm joking. That's ice cold. Connor's a legend. He went back in against him? Crazy. Yeah, what a psycho. No, I, th- did, uh, I think they stopped, right? No, they didn't. They're not stopped, Brendan. This is going. Shane got some cheeks on him, too. That was a cheap shot right there, though. Shane plays dirty, man. You know, he's a he's oh a, my. he's a water engineer. Shane's a smart dude. What does that mean? He's a steroids? In, in Texas. <laughs> oh, he knocked him out again? Yeah. yeah Cold, were... right? No, I think that time he just knew he'd had enough, too. Uh, that one was... That shot Kudos, was... though, bro. Uh, Jason Lewis fought this guy? Dude, that guy... It's like seeing a bear in the woods. It's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Put your food in a box and stay in your tent. <laughs> or climb up a tree. They, a bear can go up a tree. Yeah, you're right. You seen bears scratch their back on trees? Yeah. It's cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll close it out with this kicker thing. Does okay. he not look like Army Hammer? No, this is me, dude, after my first comedy special. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, Theo, Adam here from Toronto. Got a king it or stinger for you. With the winter season upon us, Wait, who is this Ralph Waldo Keep Emerson you. dude <laughs> with the winter season upon <laughs> us? Also, you live in Canada, bro. That's your season. Yeah. Okay. There's only one season, yeah. man. Sorry, man. I interrupted you though. Please go on, brother. With the winter season upon us, turtlenecks keep you warm. Also, kind of make you look like an uncircumcised penis. They make you look. Smart. Speaking of which, there's that big dick in the sky right now. We got the CN Tower. Oh, that's mine. Got the Skydome. Yours, Brendan, right there with the white roof. <laughs> Theo had a great time at your show back in February, and uh, Brendan was supposed to do a meet and greet. Me and my brother actually back uh, in March at your show here, but uh, unfortunately the world went crazy and that got canceled. So Brendan backed out. Love to have y'all back at some point. Ooh. But uh, anyways, love y'all. Let me know what you think. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, young turtleneck man. Turtlenecks are pretty spicy, dog. Yeah. You look for, you look fancy in it. Oh, you seem rich. You seem like a ski person. Yeah. I went to some rich guy's house in Nashville, and everybody's wearing turtlenecks, and it was garbage. Well, you wore a turtleneck. I wore one for a to birthday. That, to that, no. Well, you wore a white turtleneck to that fucking... <laughs> Kid Rock's 50th. Oh, was it Kid Rock's 50th? I yeah. thought you guys were raiding the Capitol. <laughs> that wasn't me. So you saw a rich guy wear it. So then you're like, oh, this is what I'm going to wear at a Kid Rock's party. No, well, I knew I knew that they, that I that I needed to get something nice. Mine was more of a one of those like ambiance necks, not nah, the tight. Yours was a turtleneck. Bro. No, mine yeah. is the thicker, fuller, fat ant turtleneck. Dude, I see a guy in a turtleneck. I think that guy fucked. You do? Oh yeah. Oh thanks. Probably drives a Mercedes. <laughs> fucked. Oh yeah. Probably has coke in his back pocket. Mm. You wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. Dude, we're t- we're a turtleneck on the plane today on that layover, dog. Sauce on him. Sauce on him, daddy. I love Salt Lake City, but some of the p- airports, uh, some of it's uphill in some of the parts, you know? That? Oh, and it's a stretch. When you got to go from concourse A to C, you're looking at a three-mile uphill hike, son. Dude, one thing I always wanted to do is either in the Madrid airport or the Atlanta airport, go for a jog when I have a long layover. You can do that in Chicago. Like, literally, there, see, they have that ambiance neck. Nah, thing. dude, that's neck neck. No, you, it looks like you wore that a few times and got stretched out. It could have, man. I have been, I've been doing a lot of neck work. Yeah. Praise God, dude. God damn, don't Is that a white him, power hand signal? Who is this guy? <laughs> God, dude, that guy is... He's either super successful or he's just lost. That guy is <laughs> awesome, whoever he is, dude. And, yeah, he's in the bathroom of an overpriced Airbnb as well, I'll tell you that. On the episode where we were talking about this, uh, Theo snuck in another one. At one point, I, I there's a freeze frame. He goes, three other people had it. <laughs> 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 he, sl- he slipped it by us. <laughs> That's how they roll out there, man. See you at the Capitol.
<laughs> I love how they're like all these trees in Arizona the Capitol. It's like 19 fucking dudes from arts and crafts are rolled in there. <laughs> and just one dumbass got shot. The one lady. It was a man. No, it was a lady. Uh uh-uh. uh. She got shot. Oh. She's like, let's get him. She was the first one who got shot in the neck. Ooh. That would sting, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you even know. She was, it was kind of a game over, you know? I think you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think it hurts. So I think it hurts for like a split second. She was like, let's make America great again. They got shot right in the neck by the security guard. Oh. Well, can't be well, in the Capitol, man. Lesson learned. Learn from it, Theo. If you're going to do it again, learn. Learn from it. Dude, I was there. I Look, I was on the hydration team. My job was to keep everybody hydrated. Liquid IV. Liquid IV, guys. Promo code. Uh, I'm in Tampa, end of the month. I think 26th, 27th, Tampa, Florida. Come yep. get some, Tampa. Is that it, brother? <laughs> Safe flight back. Thanks, brother. Good to see you, man, gang. Now let me broadcast about this little podcast. King, cause he got rat sting, cause he fought back. Theo got that, hit a great block bag. Shop like the rest of even though we never rock mask. And you know cats gonna take your breath. Lucky she got nine lives, cause she fresh to death. And I hope I don't come off strong, or make you log off. When I'm in your DMs and I send another hot dog. Huh? Just kidding, didn't send that pic. That would be too premature, just like Nick. I'm slick, I'm sick, too legit to quit. They be calling me Chappelle, cause I got the tricks. And tell me how am I supposed to live without chin singing? He gon' take you on a date and just do a lot of drinking. Ain't no thing, chicken wing, it's the rat with the rings and the beat. Swing. It's the king and the sting. Hey, no kidding. Yo, you better listen. King and the sting, killing any opposition. Bumbling mouse to be in the critter gang. Gang buzz buzz, go get that hit up. That hit up. No chance of pumping them brakes. No making no stops. No taking no breaks. Cause K A T S take first place. It's king and a sting. Ooh. You can rap, sing, whatever you want. No one's gonna be a little rouse. I think you'd be surprised. I really do. Years ago they tried. Uh, one second. Years ago they tried to. <clears throat> okay. Years ago they tried to tell me you don't got the stripes, Webby. Now they call me Conor McGregor because I got a tiger belly.